Hello everyone. Welcome to latest update program. The topic of discussion is India's mining reforms. This topic relates to the environment section of the UPS CCSE syllabus. Let's see why this is in news. Rajya Sabha passed the Mines and Minerals Development and Regulation Amendment Bill 2025 after Lok Sabha approval. The bill pushes sustainable mining, critical mineral production and global cooperation under the National Critical Mineral Mission. Now let's discuss about Mines and Minerals Amendment Bill. The bill strengthens the National Critical Mineral Mission by focusing on 24 identified critical minerals essential for electrical vehicles, batteries, LEDs, aerospace and other strategic sectors. It promotes onshore and offshore exploration including the first ever auction of polymetallic nodules in the Andaman Sea held in November 20 to 24 it allows sale of mineral dumps to reduce environmental hazards and enables mineral trading through exchanges it also promotes the use of modern technology in mining to boost production and promote extraction of deep seated minerals it expanded the scope of the national mineral exploration trust into the National Mineral Exploration Development Trust, NMEDT, with the royalty contribution raised from 2% to 3%. Now let's discuss about critical minerals. Critical minerals are those minerals which are essential for a country's economic development and national security. Their limited availability or concentration of reserves in a few regions can cause supply chain vulnerabilities and disruptions. Critical minerals such as Silicon, tellurium, indium and gallium are vital to produce photovoltaic PV cells used in solar panels. Elements like dysprosium and neodymium are used in permanent magnets for wind turbines. Now it's time to do a practice question. Consider the following statements about critical minerals. Critical minerals like silicon, indium, gallium and tellurium are used in the production of photovoltaic PV cells for solar panels. Lithium and cobalt are primarily used in the manufacture of permanent magnets for wind turbines. Which of the statements given above is the eyes are correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two. T. Neither one nor two. Send the answer for this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.